probably a year later. Um, the last ad campaign I worked on in London was with Gary, and it was uh, it was the last taboo, and that was what we were tackling in this particular class. And the last taboo was death, and we had to do an advertising campaign for a funeral home. So it's the strange things like that that just you know we would joke about it and. Again, in our wildest dreams at 20, 22 right. years old, we just never thought this would happen. Mm -hmm. uh, Sarah Phillips and I, we were friends, and I'll, I'll never forget one of the most vivid memories I have of that time, right before the bombing, right before we were leaving. Everyone, you know, had had a great time, but we were getting homesick, mm -hmm. and uh, Sarah particularly was homesick, and I remember her standing in the stairwell at the London Center and just kind of crying to me about how she had lost her plane ticket on Pan Am 103 and she was so upset. She would called her parents and uh, somehow they had got reissued another ticket for her so she was all excited and I just remember her saying to me, the last thing that I remember her ever saying to me was, I just want to go home. And I was so happy when she found her ticket mm -hmm. or when she got another ticket. Uh, it's just things like that that haunt me to this day, um, and it's that, it's that's the reason that I then made a video sort of promising the parents that I would do everything I could to continue the legacy of their children as a parent myself now. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that those parents who are getting on in years know that there is another generation that will carry the torch for their children, because they had wonderful kids who were really talented, who had a lot to offer this world, and it very well could have been me on that plane, and I would hope that one of my friends would do that 